Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in again. I hope you liked the last video on that pile mic for $20. I think we got a pretty good sound out of it. And today we're gonna to be stepping up to a better mic. Uh, this is going to be the Audio-Technica AT2020. Um, I'm actually using the USB version right now, uh, just to record right into my phone. And um, this is a pretty cool mic. So I first found out about this mic um, actually through the USB version. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I picked up a couple of them and they're really versatile and um, they're about $100 new. You can usually get them on reverb for 70 bucks or so. And um, it's a pretty good mic for an a inexpensive large diaphragm condenser. Uh, one thing that you'll need to note is that you will need phantom power on your recording interface in order to power that mic. So you gotta make sure that your interface is compatible. Uh, something else that you're gonna wanna keep in mind is um, depending on which interface you have, uh, you may have different settings as far as controlling gain on the mic. Um, the current USB version, this is the older one, but the current USB version actually has a gain dial built in so you can adjust the gain down. Obviously with drums being such a loud instrument, you need to be able to kind of control those, uh, those higher volumes that the drums produce. And a good way to do that is to turn the gain down. Now, in my case, with my Tascam interface, I can only turn the gain down so much, but it's not enough. So, I recently picked up this piece here. This is a, a Shure um, A15AS, and what this is is an adjustable inline attenuator, which basically um, is a decibel reduction tool, to put it in simple terms. So, in this case, we've got minus 15, minus 20, and minus 25 dB right on this nice little switch that's built into this unit. So when I go ahead and put this kit or put this mic on the kit, I'm gonna have it switched to minus 20 dB, and that way I'm gonna have a nice, uh, you know, easy to work with signal coming in, and I won't have any clipping or distortion or that type of thing. So this was $30 on Amazon or 35 or something like that. Uh, really easy to come by, super easy to use. It plugs right into the back of the mic the same way any other XLR connection does. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this uh, AT2020 on the kit. We're gonna use the same middle configuration as we did with the pile mic. And uh, I'm just gonna kinda make this a little bit of a shorter video because the last one um, is gonna have a lot of the same material as this one as far as editing and that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and get a sample of what this AT2020 sounds like on the kit. And just as a quick refresher, this is the position of the mic. Um, it's roughly a 45 degree angle over the kick drum, pointed approximately at the snare, and it just about splits the difference um, in terms of distance between the toms, and it's flat relative to the ground. It's not aimed up or aimed down. Let's go ahead and get a sample. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and skip right to the um, basic mix where the whole kit comes in as opposed to just sound checking the individual drums. 
Um, hopefully in the raw track there, you were able to hear that the AT2020 picks up a little bit more bottom end, um, a little bit crisper um, in, the, in the middle frequencies. Um, but I think you'll hear uh, it's a pretty similar sound really to that pile mic, which is really quite a compliment to that pile mic because for, for 20 bucks, it's, it's a good mic. Anyway, so we're going to jump right in here and I'm just going to do a, uh, a simple mix like I did before and just kind of show you what we can get out of this mic. So let's go ahead and um, listen back to the raw track. So we're going to add some compression. Give it a little bit of gain. Let's bring in some EQ. So you can see this mic has a greater ability to add uh, lower frequency than the pile does. So I've already kind of optimized this EQ for what we're going to be doing today, but we could do something like this where we really crank up the low end on it. And finally, we're going to add some reverb. And let's go and just tweak that EQ once more. So once again, I think we proved that one mic is very capable for recording pretty much an entire drum set, albeit only a three piece with a couple cymbals, but still. Um, I think there's a pretty noticeable difference in what the capabilities are between the AT2020 and the pile mic, but still it's worth noting that that pile mic really is an excellent value for $20. So 
we'll see a lot, a lot more of the AT 2020s. I have four of them. So we'll see a lot more of those in future videos where we'll be using them as overheads, an external kick mic, that sort of thing. Very useful mic, very versatile mic, and a mic that fits in well with more expensive mics where the pile will start to expose itself for how inexpensive it really is. Thanks again for watching, and as always, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, and if you have any comments, please leave them in the section down below. Thanks for watching.